All right, here we are. I'm gonna install this guy today. It's a cellular booster. Uh, all over the property we get one buyer, sometimes none. So purchased this guy at Costco because Costco's got a great return policy and uh, this is actually the best price. So did a little research here. Uh, do not buy the cheap ones made in China. The $200, $300 guys are, um, they're no good. I've heard stories where the uh, CRTC has had to go into neighborhoods because of all the interference and stuff that these things cause and triangulate the signal and tell people to shut it down. It's just it's not worth it. So what this comes with is the main brain or the booster itself, I guess, which takes the signal from this guy that I'm going to mount on the roof, boosts it, and outputs it through uh, the indoor antenna. So this is known as a Yagi antenna. It's uh, directional, it's highly focused, a very narrow sort of pie shaped uh, band if you will. And uh, in advance of doing this, um, I was very specific in looking up on, the, um, on a map on the internet, triangulating my place in the cell tower, which is exactly seven kilometers almost due east from here. It's, uh, it's actually 91 degrees that I need to, to tune this Yagi antenna. And the indoor one, well, uh, this is a 120 degree antenna. So I'm going to put it on a, on a wall and, uh, you know, 120 degrees is kind of like about that shape. Um, I'm going to put it on a wall and uh, it'll have that beam to the areas of the cabin that, um, you know, we occupy most often. So it also comes with uh, two cables, a short one for the interior and a long one for the exterior. Of course, the instruction manual, always read your manuals, mounting bracket, and the post for the attachment of the Yagi antenna, and a baggy hardware. So I got to start by taking down the old solar panels that are up there. and. Uh, once that's done, I'll be ready to go with the install of this. So here we are up on the roof. Not a place I like to be. Not a big fan of the heights. In fact, I'm struggling with it a bit, but hey man, got to get her done. So this was an old uh, solar panel rack. Previous occupants had two uh, 250 watt solar panels up here. Um, I didn't actually bring any roofing tar, so I can't take the whole rack down. So uh, I have every uh, plan to finish this roof. You can see uh, what terrible shape it's in, but I'm uh, just gonna use this in the meantime uh, as our cell phone booster antenna uh, tower, I guess. Pretty ugly, but um, the plan is to actually mount the antenna on the bunkie, which I won't be getting done for many months now. Kind of like installing a satellite dish. Even with the uh, directional tuning, which we'll do at the very end. Make it easier on yourself. Wait to tighten this up after installing the antenna.
you eyeball if this looks straight from the driveway? The, the antenna, because I uh, forgot the level. That better? Okay. I need zip ties. Zip ties. So apparently the manual says do not zip tie until it's all working. Which makes sense. Why would you want to do that? Only to find out that it doesn't work. You gotta clip all your zip ties. Manual also says to silicone caulk the joints. So now I use this app. I'm not sure you can see it. Compass to uh, find my 91 degrees, which is right here. Move the Yagi antenna to roughly that. pretty darn good. And that's where I'll tighten her up. on the ground so before I want to put a big hole into the siding which is it's to be about five eighths maybe three quarters diameter I'm gonna just test it out here um, if it works great I'll proceed it'll be worth putting a big hole in silicone caulk if it uh, doesn't work it goes back to Costco Dummy proof. All right, so we have all four lights green. I think that's probably a positive signal. Something's working. All right, now the true test. Does she work? <laughs> Look at that. Three bars. It works. Fantastic. Oh, just went into four for a second. Oh, I'm nice and close to it, but that's great. And uh, we've got uh, green lights with some blinking red. I'll reread the manual to check out what that means, but for now, that means putting a bigger hole up there. So these connections are uh, three quarters of an inch wide, but they are quality connections, so I won't complain too, too much, but I'm gonna have to uh, expand the size of that hole there and uh, shove that in. So we've got the Uniden U65 all hooked up and every one of the four lights is green. So the antenna is on a funny angle there because when it was uh, perfectly vertical it was interfering with the antenna on the uh, 
um, roof. There was one light that was blinking red, which uh, dials it back by 30 decibels, which is uh, quite a lot. And the manual explains it kind of like a situation where you've got a microphone too close to a speaker and there's feedback. So um, I kind of sat right about here and uh, testing this thing out and it worked really, really good. So let's check it out. 720, done, okay. <laughs> wow, Greg Kinnear, that's really star. mean. Greg Kinnear stars in Holy <laughs> Who Gives a <laughs> Coming Soon. Alright, three bars. This is 720 and it's got no problem. We never had this before. So, this is good.